Well, standing up for yourself, it has its drawbacks, you know, but some men are a bit intimidated. Well, some men are wimps. <laughs> So I was surprised when you caught, considering you are a friend of Claire McLeod's. I'm here to have dinner with a very beautiful woman. Leave me out of the rest of it, will you? It really doesn't bother you, then. Our, um, feud. <laughs> it's between you and Claire. Besides, if I didn't talk to every person Claire McLeod had a beef with, I'd be a very lonely guy. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? So they're a little bit late. Well, they're not coming at all. Come on, they'll be here. The food's gonna be ruined, isn't it? Yeah, you know, pasta, not so good, but I'll cook some more. I forgot what it's like to throw a party and have no one show up. Truck, Alex. Me. No need to ask what you're doing. Yourself? Mind of you. Do you wouldn't dump Rocco? Look, you can leave or you can stay and help, but we're taking the lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any more champagne and I'm gonna go all silly. Well, he's hoping. <laughs> Maybe I should be insulted. Why? Because when you ask a girl out with two hours notice, you've got to be pretty sure she hasn't got any other plans. Mm. Was an impulse. <laughs> I was hoping I might find it a loose end. I know about impulses. Mm. Question is whether to give in to them or not. And what's your answer? No, Alex. As they say, the night is young. Mm. Uh, sorry, Sandra. I'm just checking. Did you know about drivers using the big truck? Yeah, it's right, Terry. Well, no one told me. Sorry about that. So, uh, where were we? The night's, night's young. young. And it's full of possibilities. I really like some dessert. Yeah? Get me some trifle. Coming right up. <laughs> Sandra's on the way, right? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Terry, just do it. Don't mind me, you know. <laughs> Keep me in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me, mate. No, I need to use the phone. No, hang on a sec. Yep. Yeah, no worries. You've done yourself proud, Alberto. It smells terrific. All of the family recipe. Tell you the truth, I was a bit surprised to get this invitation. Well, that's me for you. Full of surprises. <laughs> Mum, would you mind helping me choose some CDs? Excuse me. So, why are you here with Fran? 
Frank, having dinner, darling. It's lovely. <laughs> what happened to the others? Um, they'll be here sooner or later. Hi, Joe, I don't need to use the phone. Uh, this is a really bad time, Joe. I'm sorry, no, emergency. Phone? Uh, it's just there. Oh, don't mind me. She's on to us. What? Alex asked me to phone Nick. What, what did he want Nick for? Well, search me. One minute he's having dinner with Sandra Kinsella, and next minute he's yelling at me to tell Nick that Sandra's on the way. Do what? We're taking our cattle home. And then of all things, I want a spa bar. Now, Meg went right off, didn't you, love? But in the end, she enjoyed it. Mm. I guess you should be going. No, no, I'm right. I'm okay. an absolute ball of that thing, you know. Sure. In it all the time, we would. Hi, Frank. Frank, hi. You lot took your time. Laws against speeding. You know that, Meg? And did you get your work done? Yep, yep, all the work's done, no oh, worries. Yeah. So, why don't we eat? Because I'm starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, hungry. Yeah. 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 Chase the rider, eh? Sorry, folks. Judy calls. Oh. That's okay. You go chase the bad guys, Frank. Bye, all. Bye, See Frank. Bye, Frank. Bye, Frank. Bye, Frank. Bye, Frank. Sandra. Sandra? She turned up. Would somebody please tell me what's going on? Claire, Miss Kinsella claims you stole her calves last night. No, Frank, I just took back what was mine, that's all. Check the brands if they're mine, charger. Take a look at the calves, Frank. They're with their natural mothers. The law's the law. Do your job. Sandra's right, Claire. I'll have to charge you with the theft of 20 calves. But with reputations at stake, I've got a court order for DNA testing, which should establish your ownership of the calves beyond doubt, shouldn't it? No problem. I bought those calves in good faith. <laughs> they're looking at the way they're bonding with your cows. It's like I was sold stolen property. That's what you think, is it, Sandra? Don't waste good money on DNA, Frank. She can have them. Well, that's generous of you, letting us keep our own calves. Hmm. Let it go, Tess. You did cut off that pony's tail, didn't you? We both like to win, don't we, Claire? I'll see you around. Thanks for taking care of Sandra. 